So I have this favorite band of mine. Uh, their band is called Curve. They're a late 80s, 90s, and early 2000s UK alternative rock band uh, with two members, the um, multi-instrumentalist Dean Garcia and the front vocalist Tony Holiday. It's been like my favorite band for over two decades. They're fucking amazing and originally have been... A very strong influence in a lot of rock groups of the early 90s, including Garbage, and from what I've been reading, even a little bit Nine Inch Nails. Not a primary influence, but they've definitely rubbed off on them, their production style. Um, I, I know every song by this band. I've obsessed over this band in the late 90s, early 2000s. And um, here's an example of one of their songs. <clears throat> I'm going to go to my Google Music. <laughs> and I'm gonna play a song from a two. Uh, I forget what year. I think it's a '99 or a '98 album. Come clean. I don't remember. It's either late '90s or early, very early, like the first year of 2000s. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. A little more. You can, by the way, hear the stylizing and how it clearly resonates in any, especially early garbage songs, if you remember that then. Yeah, I'm going to pause this now. Now, the, my brother today uh, messages me on Google and says, go ahead and pull up one of the uh, SP, uh, Space Echoes albums. Now, more background, Space Echo is a UK uh, also alternative rock band that formed in 2007, I want to say, 2007, 2008. And they're still going on until now. Now, half of that... Uh, of the Space Echo is Dean Garcia, the original uh, producer instrumentalist from Curve with the new vocalist Rose Berlin. <laughs> this is a uh, track number... Let me go back to my computer. Track number five of a 2011 album called uh, You Tell Me and the song is called Let Me Out. Let's take a listen. Oh, that sounds awfully familiar. Fast forward a little bit again. So basically, he took the studio recording of the original Curse song and uh, without Tony Holiday's vocals and layered over the completely new vocal track with uh, Rose Berlin. So uh, it's not stealing because it's his song. He wrote it, he produced it, he recorded it. He just decided to write a new vocal track. But very funny, Dean, considering the original song name was something familiar. You're a real comedian. 